Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I will be going over the cardiac conduction system so you have an understanding of what the role of the SA, the AV, the bundle of His, and Burkinji fibers mean. In addition, I will correlate that with the six second rhythm strip and capture the importance of the PQRS waveform. As a bonus, I will go over the five lead telemetry placement and how I remembered where the colors belonged early on in nursing school. Don't forget to access a free quiz on link below. My name is Christina, nurse practitioner. Let's get started. Let's understand the cardiac conduction system within your heart. So inside the top right atrium, it contains the SA node, also known as the sinoatrial node. This is the heart's primary pacemaker. The SA node is set at a rate of about 60 to 100 beats per minute. This SA node is referred to as the pacemaker of the heart and works with the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight. It works in a way of controlling the heart rate by increasing or decreasing how the SA node will fire. So so when looking at a six second rhythm strip for the normal rhythm, it will have a PQRS waveform. So the P waveform is from the SA node that generated an impulse and caused that atrial contraction, which is the squeeze of the atrium. So the SA node fires and it travels down to the AV node, also known as the atrioventricular node, where it lies just beneath the right atrium near the tricuspid valve. In this section of the heart, you have your T cells. So it's known as the transitional cells. It can slow down the impulses before going to the ventricles. So when the impulse from the AV node is delayed, it reflects the PR interval, which is okay. So as long as the delay is within the 0.12 to 0.20 seconds, which is about three to five small squares, it's a normal delay. And this will allow for the atria to contract, known as atrial kick, and then the ventricles will fill. So the AV node then travels down into the septum of the heart that branches off into the bundle of His. The bundle of His separates into the left and right side of the lower ventricles of the heart. At the end of the bundle of His, it has these like fiber-like projections, also called Purkinje fibers, that contain Purkinje cells. So the Purkinje cells is what allows for that electrical impulse of the ventricle. So the contraction of the ventricles causes this ventricular depolarization. This is what gives you the QRS on a six second rhythm strip. Now that you have a good understanding of the conduction system, let's go over a rhythm strip and what the P, QRS, PR, ST, QT, and T wave segments mean and how it correlates with the cardiac conduction system. So beginning with the P wave is the atrial depolarization from the SA node. This is basically the pacemaker of the heart. The PR interval, this is where the AV node delays the impulse temporarily and then travels to the ventricles. The QRS is the ventricular depolarization of the ventricles that normally measures from 0 0.06 to 0 0.10 seconds, which is about one and a half to two and a half small boxes. Your ST segment is from early ventricular repolarization, so that's relaxation of the ventricles. Your T wave is a ventricular repolarization, so when you have your T waves that are tall and peaked, this can be from an electrolyte imbalance. So your U wave is what follows the T wave, and this is from late ventricular repolarization. When this occurs, always recheck your potassium levels. Your QT interval, this is a total time for ventricular depolarization and repolarization, which is measured from the QRS to the end of the T wave. When your QT interval is prolonged, the rhythm can turn into torsades, the pointes, which can be precipitated by medication medications such as tacrolimus or an electrolyte disturbance. And a normal rate is between 0.36 to 0.44 seconds. So let's go ahead and capture that five lead telemetry placement that I just talked about. So in a hospital setting, your patient may need a continuous cardiac monitor box where a five lead telemetry box is placed. Now you have to remember where the colors belong. And if you forget, it will be listed on the cable, so don't stress it. So where you will place the leads, you wanna to commit to memory. Black is always on the left and white is always on the right. It's just something you have to remember. So the black lead belongs on the left arm of the chest. So think smoke over fire. And then below that is your red lead for your left leg. So since fire is below smoke, you always wanna think of that. White belongs on the right arm, so snow over grass. And then green belongs on the right leg. So grass is below snow 
no. And then for brown, um, that's in the center lead. I always think chocolate, so this is closest to my heart. Again, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for upcoming notifications. Take care.